St. Louis from the cares of earthly rule to the glory of a heavenly realm. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that by fulfilling your, our duties here on earth, we may seek out your eternal kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Surely the darkness shall hide me, 
and night shall be my light. For you darkness itself is not dark, and the night shines as the day. You have searched me and you are my Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the light of God is truly perfected in him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. St. Paul had a deep sense of what it meant to follow God, and he preached it every moment of his life. He was a fierce, fierce preacher of the gospel. And because of that, he continues to be somebody whose readings we read, whose joyful teachings we choose to, to try to struggle with as we move through our own lives, because following God is never really an easy thing. There are moments when it is, and those are glorious moments. But much of it is work, as St. Paul says, our toil and drudgery, working night and day. That's what he perceived his own mission as being part of, a toil and a drudgery. But at the same time, that toil and that drudgery was showing the glory of God. I hope that St. Paul takes comfort in that now. I hope that all of us take comfort in the fact that every moment of our lives, we have the opportunity to be people who are at work in the kingdom of God. As hard as it is, as sacrificial as it can be, because love calls for sacrifices. And some days, it's about toil and drudgery. We are people who have a very short vision. Oftentimes, the only thing that we can see is our own feet. Or, if you like, there's an Old Testament word for sin. It can be literally translated as bent over looking at your belly button. That's when we are encountering that toil and dread. That's when we're struggling to try to be the good people that God calls us to be. And I think it's important to remember that the struggle is is, is an all part of the glory already. Because the moment that we turn our eyes to God and we lift up this way, we see each other. And that becomes our hope. That becomes what we cherish. And the toil and the drudgery, I can't promise it's going to go away. There are 
pray this way. I go, Lord, what are you doing? And God tends to be a little silent. I would suggest that God is rolling his eyes at me at that moment and going, Don't worry, I'm in charge already. Because we like to be in charge. And I think the part of following that joy of God, part of following that, that wonderful, powerful love of Jesus, is recognizing that you and God are not in charge. We have that much of the mission of God to accomplish with our lives. That's the importance. That makes all of us loving interventions of God into the world. And therefore, toilet drudgery becomes meaningful. Suffering becomes meaningful. Joy becomes meaningful. Everything that we are takes on a depth of meaning that we can barely perceive, but we know it is there. So today, live in glory. Today, live in glory. Today, live as a loving intervention of God into the world. Together we offer our prayers for those who are most in need. That the church throughout the world will be blessed with the spirit of humility before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For our prayer, our prayer. The world leaders will be granted wisdom and courage by the Holy Spirit as they formulate laws and policies. Let us pray to the Lord. For our prayer, our prayer. If anyone suffering does support us, Crying pain, they feel the healing touch of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here may have the gifts of the Spirit, so as to announce the gospel in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here may be called by God in His kingdom and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercy, pour out your blessings on us. Grant us your grace that we might follow your will each and every day. We ask this through Christ. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual truth. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory, through Christ our Lord, and so with all the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew of so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, which will be the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Louis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Oh, my God. 